Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Um, hit the like button as you come in. Thank you. I appreciate that. In the meantime, I'm going to be putting on a little of my tinted lip balm that you guys can get at Level Up Cosmetics under the lipstick and lip balm and lip gloss search. So this just brings a little bit of color and moisturizers. This is in the Ever After collection. So if you're looking for these jelly colored tinted lip balms on Level Up Cosmetics, just type in Ever After collection and all the colors will pop up along with my highlighter and eyeshadow and lip glosses. Okay, welcome y'all. So we are going to be discussing why he will never find his dream woman or dream girl, whatever. The reason why, I'm gonna let y'all get in here and hit that like button. Y'all should be hitting that like button as you get in. Y'all should just automatically scroll down, hit that like button, clickety click. If you're new, subscribe and sign up for those notifications and then we can get started. But this video is going to be talking about how he will never find his dream woman. Uh-oh, Bree, Sprinkle Sprinkle, a member in the house. Thank you for being a member. If you guys would like to become a member, y'all go to the channel page and click join and become a member. And you get cool emojis that say level up, you get a little rose emoji. And so I will shout you out every time I see you in the live. Um, and thank you for everybody who did become members. All right. So the reason why I say he will never find his dream woman is because we are never the same people as we were when we sought out to find our dream man or dream woman. Or dream person. Uh oh, Takesha, Sprinkle, Sprinkle, another member. Hey, appreciate you, girl. So many men go searching for their dream woman. Either they can't afford her, or when they finally can afford her, they can't keep her, they can't maintain her, they can't satisfy her. They end up still um, trying to find other options just in case. Or they have a lot of fear that they may lose her to somebody else with a better personality, more money, or da 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 da, da. So, and usually these dream girls, a lot of times, may be a little bit younger. Um, and that may not be their dream guy. So the chances of not being able to keep or find or have your dream woman or man um, go up. So the younger you are, especially as a woman, the younger you are, the more you change as you grow older. So you may not be able to be the same person as you were 20 years ago, 10 years ago. And you may turn into a totally different type of woman and may no longer be that man's dream woman. So a lot of times you'll meet a version. Okay, Star Ruby, Sprinkle Sprinkle, another member, Jay Boopsie, another member. Thank y'all. And a lot of times you'll find someone that fits the description of a dream man or a dream woman, but they won't stay that way. Join by going to the channel page and hitting the join button. Um, I think it's better if you do it on a laptop or a tablet. I'm not sure if it shows up on a phone, but um, you guys can check that out. Uh, so remember, as many times as you have dated, as many men, as many sugar daddies, as many rich millionaires and billionaires that have dated, you have yet to see one that say, I have found my dream woman. Not all the richest men in the world could ever say that. They have everything, but they don't have, quote unquote, their dream woman because they don't exist. Uh oh, melee sprinkle sprinkle. Do you think maroon hair would be classy if it is the right shade and goes with skin undertone? I've been leaving up 
leveling up, but I don't want to give up the red. Um, uh oh, Jay Boopsy, sprinkle, sprinkle. If you if you like, buy a wig and go test out a different hair color, and if it doesn't work for you, and if you don't see people, you know, giving you more attention or treating you better than you were treated with the red hair, then by all means, keep your red. But I would definitely try to find an alternative way to test out, you know, hair color. Get red or do a rinse or whatever, something temporary. But I would definitely compare. Um, so a lot of men who are super paid, super rich, they never... They never get on screen or on camera and say, I found my dream woman. They're always switching up, getting divorced, cheating. So no matter how hard you level up, ladies, no matter how perfect your body is, no matter how submissive you are, no man will ever claim you as their dream woman for a long time. You, you may be their dream woman for a while. But you're not going to maintain that dream woman status because there is no such thing as a dream woman. There is only what a man wants at the particular time he wants it. And without knowing what it takes to keep that, that type of person, to keep that same level of attention and to not um, feel like you're going to lose it because you can't control it or that that woman is changing in a way that you never perceived that she would change. It's, it's going to change. People change. Their values change. Their morals change. Their ideals change. Their political views change. Their bodies change. Their mentality changes. The way they see the world changes. And so with all those changes, a woman will never stay a dream woman for very long. So this is why I teach y'all to get y'all's money to make sure you start your own business so you can be your own dream woman, okay? And if they, you know, if you guys choose to uh, level up with their money, that's great. While they feel like they have their dream woman, use that to your advantage. Use that to create yourself as your own dream woman. The woman you dreamt you would be when you were younger. That is the true level up, okay? Because you're never going to be a man's dream woman forever. You're going to be a temporary dream woman until you change or until they change. Every time I had a job when I was younger, whenever I saw a man in a position of power or who was a boss or a manager or whatever, um, a lot of times they were dating Barbara the Builders, which were women who had decent careers and was contributing to the relationship. And every time I also saw that they were cheating on that woman with younger women or any woman that would give them the attention who they were attracted to. They, they didn't always have to be younger, but they were just other women who were giving them the attention and who they were also attracted to. So no matter what a man says... Oh, I need a woman who's going to build with me. I need a woman who's attractive. I need a woman who's fit. I need a woman who's this. This is it. They're going to cheat on all of those women. And even if they had all those women at the same time, they're most likely going to cheat on some of those women. <laughs> so you, you might as well become your own dream woman while they pay for it. Okay. <laughs> message. <laughs> All right. So message. Be your own dream woman. You might be their dream woman for five years, two years, one year, but get what you can get. I don't care what it is. It might, you might be somebody's dream woman for two weeks. But make sure you get something out of it. You might be some dream woman, someone's dream woman for one night. Get something out of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Uh oh, Sarah, sprinkle, sprinkle. Your therapist thinks you have a relationship issues when I opened up yesterday about my hypergamy beliefs. Tell them you have relationship issues. You are correct. I have an issue with being in a relationship for free. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> the only way to solve that problem is to get paid. <clears throat> Um, no offense against therapists, but um, they're only there to help you see that you don't fit into normal society by the way you think. If your mindset is not within the moral range of society, they're going to put a red flag on you, say you have issues. So therefore, I don't really um, take the advice of anyone because we probably don't have the same moral standards. There are some therapists that are, you know, um, the same way as we are. So you need to find one that looks leveled up. Okay, don't don't go to one that look like they barbered a building. Go find you a leveled up therapist and y'all will be speaking the same language and you can help each other get to the next level faster. I always suggest that if you're going to find a therapist, find one that's as similar to you as possible. Okay, don't find one the exact opposite because y'all are going to be thinking the exact opposite. If it's a man, good luck. Okay. <laughs> How do you stay and stay grounded, stay present and open up. Okay, that's for my other channel, baby. I might go live on that channel after this one. But we're right now we're talking about how a man will never find his dream woman because it, she can't stay his dream woman. Someone's going to change. Someone's morals are going to change. Someone's looks are going to change. Someone's income or level of thinking is going to change. Someone's opinion of self is going to change. And so they it doesn't mean that they're not going to be together. Um, it just means that they will no longer be considered the dream. Okay. So um, there are lots of, there are lots of people who um, are, are together and who may have been each other's dream when they met, but people's minds and mentalities, interests, and all those things grow over years. If you can find common ground in relationships and stay together, that's wonderful. But that doesn't mean you're with your dream anymore, your dream woman or dream man. That's why you see a lot of men who stray. You see a lot of men who cheat. Who, you see a lot of men who are with a perfectly beautiful woman and will still be in someone's DM or inbox. Because there might be a few things or some things about that woman that may have changed that they don't agree with or necessarily find appealing anymore. And so in order to satisfy their need to um, feel like they used to, they'll go find a different woman who doesn't truly know them yet. You know, uh, uh oh, Jay Boopsy in the house of Sparkle Sprinkle. I saw you already, but yeah, your name is just so funny. I have to say it. <laughs> Um, okay, Shakira, sprinkle, sprinkle. Your husband is a full provider where budget you're budgeting. You thought uh, you bought something and he locked me out of the account and said, I need to ask him first that I girl now. Now, listen to this side. Take your name off the account and go open your own account and do not contribute anything and half don't use that account anymore get cash always tell him he's not getting none until you get your own account with a direct deposit or he stop playing these games <laughs> he will get totally ignored treated like trash ignored locked out the room in fact he can't come in the room no, you lock that. You lock me up the count. You gonna be locked out the house. Period. 
And you said husband too, lock him out the house. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, because like a lot of people don't play that. That is called financial abuse. Lock him out the house. <clears throat> Tell them you've been doing some research and um, there is a such thing as financial abuse. <laughs> and that's one of them. You no longer have access to money. And he's a total provider. You lock them out of everywhere. <laughs> Say, you did something I didn't like in the house, so I locked you out the house. Period. That's how it's going to work. So. You said, but a leveled up therapist might not be working a job like this. They may, they may be having the same idea and trying to meet men at the same time. They may not be there yet, but if they do like, you know, what they do for a living, they may stay on, but you're right. They may not be there for long, but they will be there if they have the same mindset and on the same path. Like, you know, the therapists. Um, I wish somebody would lock me out of anything. They, they're going to regret it. <laughs> Uh-oh, Resona. Sprinkle, sprinkle, member. Welcome, member. Um, you have... You have been ignoring him totally? Good. And lock him out the bedroom. Or go stay in one of the guest rooms or do something. Just don't even give him nothing. Don't even let him see you looking good. Like, I mean, like partially naked. Make sure you're fully clothed that every time that he sees you. And don't even give him no eye contact. Hi there, Shira. Thank you for all you do. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, Stacy. I appreciate it. That was a very nice donation. Appreciate you. Um, so, and the reason why a lot of men who have money are, you know, always looking for this special one or a girl. And when they find a girl, they marry her or, you know, they make her their girlfriend or their secret lover. I don't know, whatever, however, whatever they're doing in their life. To, to maintain mistress, wife, or girlfriend, I don't know, we don't. They still can't find the perfect one between all of them. And the same thing with men, like so many women are looking for the perfect men. They're never gonna find the perfect man. So that's why usually they have one that does this, one that does that, and one that does this. And if they are married and are, you know, being exclusive and, you know, being faithful to one man, they aren't, most of the time, women aren't 100% happy or satisfied with the spouse, but they find a lot of other ways to, you know, spend their energy and time. But a lot of, a lot of men who un, are unhappy with their spouse, they spend a lot of time looking for other women. And the, the, the difference between us and them is they have to actually spend money. And they have to actually worry about losing more. And they have to actually worry about, you know, children born out of their family or the wedlock or to this person or that person while still being married to someone else. They have to worry about all of these things. But yet they still go out and do it because they will never meet their dream woman. <laughs> so, you, you know, you meet a woman one way. And as you guys mature and progress in the relationship, you're not with the same person that you started with. Never. You never are. And so um, my my advice is if, if you're a man and you meet a woman and they're your dream woman, they won't be for long. <laughs> my best advice is don't be your dream woman. Like, don't find your dream woman. Find someone that you think you will grow to appreciate and to love, not someone that you already feel that way about because they're going to change. Find someone who you see can grow and become that type of person. 
Um, and I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking about mentality. Um, because if they're already there, if they're already on a certain level and they look up to you and they think you're smart and they think you're all that, women usually become smarter than men over time, especially when they are living together and are also um, continuously growing mentally and maybe growing their own business or doing their own career or profession, or even if it's just a hobby, they're going to grow to the point in knowledge where they're going to have more than you. Because women pay attention to details. They're multitaskers. If y'all have kids, they're going to know how to manage a household, manage their career or business, manage you as a man, and manage themselves. And that type of woman is never, will never be submissive. Will never think you're smarter than her because she doesn't see you doing what she does. So this is why a lot of times after a man, quote unquote, thinks he finds his dream woman, she doesn't stay his dream woman for very long. OK, um. <laughs> so never like never feel like you have to be someone's version of a dream woman because you're not going to stay there that way very long anyway especially if you grow and continuously learn and better yourself. Chances are, uh, if you do that, you're not going to stay that man's dream woman. Okay. So be your own dream woman and use their money to become it. And it doesn't matter if you're their dream woman anymore because you're your own dream woman. <laughs> okay. And they can kick rocks if they don't like it. It's like the game of chess, darling. <laughs> Make your moves. There are several ways to win in a chess game. And you have all these pieces on a board if y'all know how to play chess. And each piece has a different position and a way that it moves. And there's a queen and a king on the chessboard. And the queen is the most powerful. And once she starts moving, once she gets in the position to start moving, she's the most powerful piece on the board. She can move in any direction, backwards, forwards, sideways, diagonal. Um, and it hurts more to lose a queen while you're playing chess than any other piece. And if you lose your queen, you'll end, the king will end up running around the board for his life, <laughs> being chased by pawns, bishops, you know, all the other pieces, knights, so forth and so on, and rooks, if there's any of those pieces left. But the queen is gone. And he becomes the most vulnerable piece on the board. Um, so <laughs> then it becomes a nightmare because every other move is checkmate, checkmate. <laughs> Does the dream woman treatment change when you get married, especially if he's significantly older? It, it just depends on how long you stay that dream woman version. You know, sometimes it takes years for you to become, um, you know, more advanced in who you are. Um, so, like I said, my advice for men is to find a woman who they won't mind if they grow intellectually, who they won't mind if they become smarter than them. You don't ever get with a woman who you could not be with if they grew smarter than you. That's all I can say. <laughs> when a woman grows smarter than a man, that's when he does not feel like a man anymore. Or that's when he does not feel as significant anymore. Or when he doesn't feel as appreciated or valued anymore. So um, just like, like on the chessboard, when the queen is valued as the most valuable piece on the board, 
and the king is only a liability to protect. It that's kind of how it feels. It feels like dang, you know. Um, even though the whole moral of the story is me um, on a chessboard as a king, until you get my piece, you can't win. But if you lose the queen, you end up running around for the on the rest of the board being chased or being most vulnerable. So that's that's the story of saying, you know, the dream girl, if if no longer there or present to keep you from being what you are, which is a vulnerable piece, then you know you're kind of just going in emotions. And so like if you want to label someone a dream girl, label a dream girl someone who even though they're smarter than you, you can still see them as your dream girl. Because a lot of women, like I told y'all, are out here playing dumb, stupid, and crazy <laughs> and to get y'all's money so that they become y'all's dream girls or their own dream girls after they become y'all's dream girls. Okay. How to date men who stay at the same hotel as you? Both have travel jobs. He's rich too. Well, would you really consider that dating or would you consider that just sleeping with a man? I don't know if, I mean, I wouldn't call that dating. I would just call it a man or a friend with benefits on that one. <laughs> Um, when they get the dream woman, they can't handle it. It's for their own validation. Exactly. And a lot of men don't realize to keep up with a dream woman, you have to also be a version. And notice I didn't say the, I said a version of their dream man, not the dream man, but a version of their dream man. <laughs> Because chances are, now let me tell y'all the absolute truth. If that's your dream woman, chances are you ain't her dream man. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just letting y'all know. If that is your dream woman, you are definitely not her dream man. Y'all can write that down, fellas. Write it down. <laughs> know that always and once once you figure that out it may be too late he said and she's other men's dream woman too exactly Exactly. If, if you dump her or she dumps you, she just move on to the next man who thinks she's the dream woman. It's just it's just that easy for her. And it's so messed up because a lot of these men feel like even if she is a dream woman, she has her own thing going. She has her own money and things like that. Her dream man in her mind provides totally for her, even though she has all that. OK. And a lot of men forget this just because a woman is rich and has her own money and is smart does not mean she don't want you to pay. For everything. Or at least to offer and insist and put money in her account or in an envelope and stash it somewhere anyway so that she finds it. You Some some men don't realize this, that. If you just say, okay, you don't want my money and just allow her to keep continuously paying for herself and not offer to pay her no bills. and da, 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 da. When, a, when that one man comes along, when you're out of town or at work or whatever, and he sits next to her at the bar and says, you know, you look too good to be sitting here by yourself. I will pay all your bills. I don't care how much they are. That one line comes out that man's mouth. She's going to start considering, dang, how come my man don't pay any of my bills and he's paid too? Does he not value me as much 
um, than this stranger who just offered to pay my bills no matter how much they are? You know, has he gotten that comfortable? <laughs> has he given up on trying to pay for my bills? Or does he even consider it? Or does he think we're equal in that we're lucky to have each other? <laughs> no, that's when, you, that's when you start losing her mentally right there. Oh, Sarah Sprinkle Sprinkle, what should you say if you're visiting their town and dating? You was going to say, I'm looking to move there. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a good line saying you're looking to move there, but I would just say I'm moving here. That way there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Just say I'm moving here. That, that way you see if they're taking you seriously or not. You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, what's the purpose of a man if a lady has to spend her own coin? I don't. This is, that is the exact question that most men never ask themselves or never consider because many men, especially men with money, feel like they are a prize or they feel like they're a catch and that many women will be lucky to have them. But like I said, if they're not spending, it's just like dating a dusty anyway. If they're not providing, it you might as well be dating that dusty down the street that live with his mama because it's the same thing. Um, <laughs> and they won't realize that until other men offer to do what they're not doing. They won't realize it until another man who may even have less. Now, this is the sad part. A man can sneak up who got less than the man who claims that he's found his dream woman but not paying all her bills and whatnot. What A man with less can come along and pay all that woman's bills. And she may leave that man with more money for him because he knows how to take care of her. Okay. Now I'm not now I'm not saying broke. I'm just saying maybe a little bit less. Maybe instead of being like, you know, a billionaire, he's a millionaire. Instead of being a millionaire, he's a six figure, but he paying every bill and not pretending like he's a prize or whatnot. So why do men behave as their prize? Oh, she were. Because they forgot why they sought out to get that money in the first place. <laughs> they forgot the reason why they hustle so hard to get past a certain level of income to be in a category or in a different tax bracket. They forgot the real reason. <laughs> and that reason being so that they can have the life, the lifestyle and the woman that they want. And when they say they want the woman, that doesn't mean to date a woman and have her pay her own bills or whatever. That means to have a woman who's 100% provided for by that man. Period. No matter how smart she is, no matter how many figures she makes, no matter how big her savings are, no matter how big her investment portfolios are, she need to have every bill that you don't have a woman unless she's totally off the market and is no longer paying for herself. You don't have nothing. <laughs> and they forgot that. And that's why they that's why they thought that they were a prize, because they forgot the reason why they got that money in the first place. It's the same thing, like if you if you buy a house, right, you're going to pay for that house, that mortgage, that maintenance on it. You're going to pay for the light bill, all the utilities and whatnot. OK, and you're going to have insurance on it because that's what you worked hard for. That's your house. Da, 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 da. You're going to find a car. You're going to do the same thing. Pay the maintenance on the car. You're going to make sure the car is washed and taken care of and. Da, 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 right? Got the inspection sticker on it. 
Then you get a woman. Oh, this is my dream woman. Oh, no, you got to pay your own bills. That's not your woman then. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh oh, Stacy, sugar daddy wants you to stop working, but I make good money to do. Tell him you'll stop working if he can deposit what you earn in your account on a monthly basis. Or at least 75% of it, you know, because at least your time will be freed up and you can use that time to start your own business if you choose to. Or write a book or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But sprinkle, sprinkle, Stacy. I appreciate your uh, donation, girl. Uh, um, you said get a six month advance on that too. Exactly. Look up says get a six month advance before you quit from him. Okay. That way you know he gonna do it. And if he start acting silly, you could you could go back and find a better job. Okay. You said a guy offered to help pay your bills and he did for a, lot, a little while. Now when he asked for help, for help he, he doesn't have it. Okay. Well, they move on to the next dude, baby. He's obviously done or can't afford it anymore. No need to tap some, something that's no longer able to be tapped. You've noticed trust fund men are often in their female energy or feminine energy. Grown men with allowances. <laughs> Uh, that's so true. Like, um, long ago, you know, I noticed that a lot of men who were in their feminine energy were actually using using masculine women for their financial advancement, and you know, um, a lot of a lot of like attractive men or men who deem themselves the prize, often go after women who um, feel lucky to be with them and who will give them money and who will, you know, provide and, you know, da -da 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 -da, put their credit on the line and all that kind of good stuff. I don't care if you're the ugliest woman in the world. I don't care. Listen to me. If you are, if you consider yourself ugly by all, if you make fun of yourself for being ugly, I don't care how ugly you are. Do not barber the bill for no man. Period. <laughs> I don't care how ugly you are. They sell silicone masks now that look super real. I don't care how ugly you are. Do not pay and, and do that for no dudes, okay? Especially if you've already done that and have learned your lesson time after time. Don't keep repeating that. Go on Amazon, get your little $2,000, $3,000 together. Go buy you one of them silicone masks and some spirit gum. And go out and get your money, baby. Okay? Because <laughs> they got the masks. They do. Go look them up. Life like silicone masks. If you that ugly, you can afford if you can afford to take care of a dust, you can afford one of them masks. They had y'all wearing masks most of the last two years anyway. What's the difference? Anyway. I'm sorry, I I do it. But if people can walk around in full drag. It's three different people with three different pronouns. You can go get you a silicone mask and get your money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. <laughs> Chess, baby, not checkers. How to tell if a man wants to leave his marriage but is only waiting for a reason to do so? Um. Well, whatever that reason may be, is going to have to, you know, to be worth it, I'll say, financially. Because a lot of times that one, like, a, one reason may not outweigh the financial issues that will take place during a divorce, you know. So think about this. Most people spend a long time building their wealth, building their life, and for half of it or a lot of it to be taken away in a 
you know, like quickly, it's a big deal. So if they're more, if they're going to lose a lot, they're not going to rush into leaving a marriage unless it's truly worth it. And almost a guarantee, you know what I'm saying? Um, or a guarantee. That's why a lot of men don't leave marriages until they got someone else. Okay. Most men do not leave marriages unless they're in a long term, already been lit, like dating this person for a long term and got caught. Then that person probably been waiting on them to leave and get a divorce for years. Then when they finally realize, okay, well, I, I can't stroke, I can't do this anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and leave because I'm pretty much established over here. And da, 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 da. then they probably will. But most men will date years another woman before considering even thinking about a divorce with a wife. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all. Too many men take us for granted. They don't realize how lucky they are to have us. That's true. That's true. That's a good idea. He can afford it. I think he's just done. Okay. Um, facts on facts. Okay. Okay. Sure, a lot of rich men doesn't consider marriage, but keep baby mama. Is it fine to be baby mama for a rich guy, for example? Um, honestly, I'm like that queen on a chessboard, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to have it all. It's all or nothing. That's that's for me. Like, I don't care what you believe in. You're going to believe in it because I want it. Period. Okay? That's 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 what it is, baby. That's what it is. Uh-oh, Jay Boosie. I don't care if you don't believe in it. If you want me, you're going to believe in it. Okay? <laughs> I know you might think you're the prize because you're, you know, rich and da-da-da-da, but you want me. So I'm the prime. So give me what I want or I don't want it. <laughs> That's it. Like I'm the type of woman and y'all think y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm the type of woman who will say no and lose it all if I can't have it all. <laughs> why why sacrifice something you want? For something that you're tolerating. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Okay, Takesha in the house, Sprinkle Sprinkle member. Hmm. Is it okay for a man to get you jealous in a relationship just for the reason to make you want him more? If he want me to want him more, he need to bring some gifts. Sprinkle Sprinkle. <laughs> you can't make someone jealous if they're not the jealous type. They don't if they don't if they're unbothered and jealousy doesn't work on them. The, it, it people have to realize not all women's are this not all women speak the same language. Not all women have the same triggers. Money is a trigger, baby. Gifts are triggers. Interests are triggers. Doing something that matters to that woman is what may get her back, but not something like, oh, here's another woman, or I, I'm trying to make you jealous because she can turn around and do the exact same thing. So, what's the point? If she can do it to him, then what's the point? It's more annoying because you know the man is insecure and likes you if he tries to make you jealous. True. Okay. So, yeah, making someone jealous is, is like saying, yeah, I'm insecure, of course. What's the point in getting married if they'll cheat anyway? Wouldn't it be more beneficial to just be taken care of by lots of men on my terms? Um... Only up until the child is 18. 
You know what I'm saying? As soon as that child turns 18 or 21, then, you know, if you haven't been entertaining other men, if you haven't been getting money by other men, if all you've been getting was child support and you kind of spent that money on your lifestyle, you didn't start a business or you didn't save up enough, or you, you, you know, what are you going to do after that? And if these guys are super rich and things like that, great. Um, you should be able to transition and find a man of, of means, maybe not as much, but still transition into marrying someone eventually. Um, and you also have to understand that sometimes men with a lot of money, they also have a lot of connections. And you also have to know that maybe they won't make it easy for you to move on or date or do things like that if they are paying money and you have their child and things like that. So I'm, I'm going to need the husband. I'm going to need the ring, the contract. I'm going to need all of that just in case. <laughs> because in my thoughts, if you're so against it, that means it's probably very beneficial for me. And I want them benefits. Okay. I'm not falling for the okie doke. If you if a man will rush to sign a contract with a whole nother man doing business with him and he won't sign one with you as a woman, I'm sus. <laughs> so no, I need I need that I need my respect. <laughs> like I need my respect. I'm sorry, if you can go run out and sign a, a contract with these other dudes, you're going to sign one with me too. Or else keep, keep it moving. Go find somebody else stupid and dumb. I'm the queen. Treat me like one or keep it moving. <laughs> whether you whether you marry me or not, I'm still a queen. That's the point. I won't be demoted. <laughs> That's how you have to think, you know. I won't be demoted. You're not going to take away my title. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Think about that. You could be wife instead of baby mama. You could be queen of an empire instead of dependent. If Jeff Bezos' first wife was a baby's mama. Do you think she would have got what she got? And that's not the point of being a wife. The point of being a wife is um, you're not seen as expendable unless they pay for you to decide whether or not you don't want to be in that lifestyle with that person anymore. It is a, it's a mutual decision. It's not a, okay, well, 18 years are up or I'm tired of you. It's like, okay, well, two people decide to go their separate ways as husband and wife, as king and queen versus I'm tired of that baby mama <laughs> or my 18 years are up. Or you're not my wife, you know? Okay. You said the queen is just a glorified servant. Yeah, but what's a baby mama? A glorified what? And I'm not talking down about baby mamas because there are plenty of baby mamas who became wives later, got married, you know, a lot of men marry women who have kids. And what I'm saying, I'm not putting anyone down, but if you can avoid it, avoid it. And a queen is not a servant because there are queens with no kings. <laughs> okay. You're a goddess and you made the chessboard. Okay, exactly. You would rather Jeff Bezos than Elon. I, you know what? All these men make money and stuff like that. But you never see, you never, like in the old days, what men used to do, how men used to take their women places, lavish their women, 
take them on vacations and stuff like that. All you hear about is these men's ideas and what they're doing, but you never see how they really treat their women. You know, most men just say, oh, I want, most women just say, oh, I want a man with money. But are they, are, do they want a woman to lavish? Or do they just want a woman to have a woman and then go back to doing what they do and not being committed to one or not lavishing her or treating her like the queen that she is? I don't know. Like back in the old days, men used to want to lavish their women in public and treat them like queens and show them to the world and say, this is my woman. And instead of being only known for their way to make money, they're also known as a gentleman, a good husband, good father figure, da, 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 not just as a rich man, but as a full whole man, okay? As a whole person, <laughs> not as a partial person. Whenever you see someone just as a partial person, you know, because of their position, um, financially or, you know, career-wise, you don't see the other parts of them. Mm -hmm. You said wife has more social standing. Exactly. A wife can get paid to go speak in her husband's place or to represent her husband at a social gathering or event. She can make she can make money on his name. But a baby mama, they really can't. You know what I'm saying? Even an ex-wife can make more money in a social standing. So it's a title. Just like, you know, a lot of people want titles. Like, okay, oh, I want to be a lady. I want to be a lord. I want to be a duke. I want to be a princess. I want to be, a, you know, da, da, da. wife is also a title. Mm -hmm. So think of it like that, like a royalty aspect. You said Ivana Trump got more than what's her name. <laughs> a lot of people don't like, yeah. So a lot of people seeing that and a lot of people are saying, okay, well, she's best remembered for being someone's wife. You know, a lot of men are very feminine. I date out. Okay. Um, I feel like that's true because a lot of women allow them men to be very feminine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And blame it on Pygmisha. Blame it on Barbara the Builder. Blame it on all those masculine women that I have to quickly scroll past on Facebook so that I don't throw up a little bit in my mouth. Blame it on them because they're feminizing the men by allowing them to be feminine because they're picking up the weight that a man's supposed to be picking up. They're doing what the man is supposed to be doing. And they are proud of it because they have a man that doesn't even really want them <laughs> by their side for financial um building so that when he does find the woman that he wants, he's built up enough just to go and get it if he wants it. Okay. I can't, I can't wash them no more. They might as well just, I don't even know, go in the men's room. I can't do it no more. <laughs> I can't. It's like, and what type of man is going to be attracted to that? I have no idea. Feminine. All right. So they have each other. Have you ever noticed that a feminine man will never approach a feminine woman? And when I say feminine, I don't mean gay. I mean a man who doesn't know how to be a man or don't know how to play his masculine role. In a relationship, do you notice they will never approach you? Not seriously. And so a lot of ladies that, uh oh, J9, Sprinkle Sprinkle, 
member in the house, a lot of women who are going out and about and saying, oh, I'm not getting approached when I go out. Are you hanging around a lot of places with feminine men? You know, are the men's pants tighter than yours? Are their shorts shorter than yours? I can't even tell anymore because these shorts, styles of shorts for men now, I, I'm confused. I don't know where to look. I don't know if they're, tr I, I don't know. I can't tell anymore. I'm look. you know what I'm trying? I don't know what you are, so I'm, I'm not making no eye contact. I know that's how a lot of y'all women feel. Y'all can't even make eye contact with people anymore because you don't know who or what they are, what they represent, and how many pronouns they got. It's like, okay, I'm going to keep my eyes. Let me just find an old man. They, they pants. They can still breathe down there at least. Let me see. Who chat? You said hoochie daddy shorts. I know. If I see one more man shopping in the junior section, I'm, I'm done. That at the Julia section. Y'all gonna need girdles for y'all for long. Y'all be buying that shapewear too. <laughs> All right, stay out, stay out of them shorts, sir. If you straight, stay out of them. I, I, if you gay, wear them all day long. Wear them. But if you are straight and ever want kids in your future, please get out them shorts. <laughs> you said they get a life out of fitting them shorts. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. You said, I can't believe I don't have a gay male bestie. Girl, Um, I don't need... I don't think I need a gay male bestie because uh, they messier than the women. Shoot. Spurs, spurs. If you want to gossip, go find you a gay male bestie. If you want to gossip more, yes. You go find... <laughs> no, thank you. I, I need an old blind bestie that don't know how to use the internet, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Who don't know who I am? Okay. <laughs> there. Except I know they have male shapewear. I'm just waiting on them to start advertising it on Instagram, trying to fit into them shorts. You know how they have those before and after pictures of girls squeezing on that thing and their bellies disappearing, and then they put on this slinky dress. Well, they need to do that with a man. Because, you know, he got, the, the dude got hips and then he squeezed into some of them hoochie daddy shorts. When I see that, I'm done. <laughs> so, you know, she said they got childbearing hips. Okay. She How do you stop getting the ick from men? I like the ick. I don't know what that means. Ads for women in the dresses on Pinterest. Okay. Why do men think that the dream woman will want them? Because <laughs> they in dream world. In their own fantasy. The dream woman will want them because she is their dream woman. She, he is not her dream man. And a lot of men aren't savvy enough to feel or even think about that. They just, they just see, oh, that's my dream woman. They never think about, am I her dream man until it's too late. Okay. Sure. Will you do any more collabs with other YouTubers? Yes. With there's this really good YouTuber, and her name is Ashira Star Goddess. 
and we'll be doing a collab in the very near future. <laughs> ah. Um, y'all know her. Oh my gosh, isn't she great? Y'all need to go subscribe, girl. Um, she's so pretty. Um, <laughs> and smart. Okay. <laughs> you love her channel too, girl. You a subscriber too. Y'all, if y'all don't know who a sheer star goddess is, oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Y'all need to go, y'all need to go click subscribe over there. Okay. Change your, it will change your life. What do you do when he looks at naked girl videos and you just started a relationship with him? Go find a video with the biggest thing you can find on it and, and, and watch right next to him. Sit, next, sit right next to him and pull up your version with something this about this long. And get to watch him. Be like, oh, his is little. Look at mine. Okay. Get to watch it. He's gonna be like, feeling very insignificant. <laughs> you said why do you care yeah if I if I don't see them doing that if I don't see anyone looking at that type of stuff I don't care that's not my business but if you doing it in front of me if you watching stuff like that in front of me I'm gonna be watching like stuff to just trigger you right in front of you I'm gonna be like look <laughs> look at this one <laughs> Your married friends are married to guys who need a green card. <laughs> well, I hope they got paid for it. Um, you said put a lot of foot long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> y'all just see y'all know the name though. Y'all know all the slang. Uh uh. I know y'all be watching it now. Uh -uh. Y'all can't even hide it no more. Um. <laughs> So he definitely gonna know he not your dream man after you pull that out <laughs> on the phone. He definitely gonna know. No, they didn't get paid. The guys rely on their check. Oh my goodness. How do you believe your James is dream woman? Cause he can't do no better. Sprunk, sprunk. Um, <laughs> that's how I know. Okay, I'm I'm very simple. I just did the math. All right, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Y'all know I'm very blunt. How can you request your sugar daddy to give you cash instead of taking me shopping? Just tell him, I need cash. I have to pay bills. My mom, I paid my mom's mortgage last month and I'm, I need to pay my rent and all this kind of stuff or whatever. Just blame it on your mom and your grandma. And then this week I'm going to need cash or I'm going to need a gift receipt so I can take it back for the cash. I don't know. You know I, I just need just just be honest. I mean, it's like I love shopping and all, but I really want to start doing more things with, you know, instead of just spending money. I, I, I want to, uh, you know, start a small business. Maybe he'll respect you more. And even if it's some eyelashes, just take the cash and flip it and do whatever you need to do with it. Um, but at the same time, you know, still go shopping, but tell him like, I really like the idea of doing this, this, and that. I'm going to need some real money. 
to do that with. If you're honest, they'll probably like thinking of that idea better than just taking you shopping. At least that money will go and do something more productive. Sure, when you were 21, a guy tried to make you take him shopping. He was 25. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm sorry that you had to experience that horrible thing. Okay, sure, is it weird to make a deal with a man, give me diamonds and purses, and I'll be your ideal woman? <laughs> um, if they agree with it, it's not. And, but it's not going to last forever. <laughs> Unless y'all make it last forever. Is it possible to make a man feel super needy for you if he's rich and smart and girls wants him? Um, For me, if you feel that way, then he's not the man for you. You know what I'm saying? If he's not that way naturally already, then he's not ever going to be. So just go find someone who is. <laughs> okay. Like there's a way to do it. But do you really want to work that hard? <laughs> Why put all that energy into something that's a maybe when you can put that all into yourself and go find somebody else that's going to do that already? You know what I'm saying? You can use all that energy for yourself to level up. And go find a man who already thinks that about you at the same time that you're leveling up. So your energy is never going to be wasted or in vain or, you know, and it's a guarantee to always been, be beneficial to yourself. If you have to do, if you got to jump through hoops and slips and twerk upside down to get some dude's attention, then what are you and who are you? Okay, because it ain't me. And it shouldn't be you. <laughs> you said it'll pick me. Okay. Exactly. I'm... If he don't like you, then move it along, baby. Ain't no, ain't no use of flipping and flopping and doing all that crazy stuff. Okay. <laughs> you say he is drama queen then let him stay a drama queen there's only one you exactly and you know um, like I said no man is ever going to find his dream woman anyway so there's no use of you trying to audition for a part that does not exist if he wants you you win if he don't want you then no no love lost. You keep it moving. Exactly. But at the same time, you know, it's almost like you're never going to be his dream girl anyway if you got to do all that. And that's a lot of work. And what we don't like to do over here is a lot of work. <laughs> okay. I okay. So here's the thing. I've seen women... Now, I see women who don't have to work. They live in nice houses, are married to rich men, but they put in a lot of work to maintain this appearance, social status, I don't even know, mentality to, to stay as perfect or as close to that dream woman as possible. And a lot of times those type of women develop bad habits um they tend to always be drinking or starving themselves or you know taking some type of medicines or anxiety pills because they can't grow they can't become the type of woman they actually are supposed to become because they're too busy trying to fit into a role that a lot of these husbands want these women to stay in just to be um, quote unquote, this dream woman while they're being cheated on. I used to see women who are this skinny at the gym on a treadmill for like two hours 
And I'm like, they look like the type of woman that has one of those husbands that would say, if you gain one pound, you know, ooh, you're fat and disgusting. Because they were so busy trying to walk off, you know, a salad that I'm like, you know what? I am so glad that I am not ever trying to be or maintain the image of someone's dream woman and that I am my own dream woman. And that if you like me, then, um, and I am quote unquote, a version of your dream woman at some point, then we can work with that. But I'm not getting ready to suffer and work harder than I ever worked in my life to maintain a person that never existed nor will ever exist for no dude who's cheating in T way. Okay, I'm just gonna get his money, start a business, and go out to eat. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You'll write a book about it. About several. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh oh, BB, how do you feel about men that get mail order brides? I don't care. I'm just big. They broke and got a little pee pee. Sprink, sprinkle. All right. She was seven, the wisdom of she was seven. Y'all go get this on Amazon. And I bring nothing to the table. This is the link that is pinned to the top. And I'll link it again. There you go. Sprint, sprinkle. <sighs> How do you get him to leave his wife? Call his wife. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Call. Uh-oh, her, her media. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Thank you. How do you get her to leave him, darling? You've purchased all my books. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Dayra, Sprinkle Sprinkle. How do you stop male validation affect you and your confidence? Um, Get dressed, look cute, go walk around and get validation from everybody. Not just males, everybody. Old ladies, old men, young men, you know, uh, whoever looking. Oh my God, you're so cute. I love your outfit. I love those shoes. Oh my gosh. Get it from everybody and then give, but get it from yourself mostly. That way you don't have to seek it from just men. You, you just know if they like it, everybody like it. Spark, spark. And there you go. <laughs> Why do y'all want leftovers? Find someone who isn't married. Girl, they need to stop pretending they marry. They're not married. Most married men are out there looking for dates right now. Spark, sprinkle. Or got a, a, a online presence in the uh, dating apps community. Okay? Just know that. <laughs> I will repeat this. Most married men are on dating apps as single and 10 years younger than what they really are. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. You're welcome. That's how you know you're not gonna be their dream woman for very long. So just get their dream money and create your dream and become your own dream woman and get your own money and leave them to live in the nightmare that they've created. <laughs> <laughs> and laugh just like that. <laughs> How do you know if he's your if you're his dream girl? If he pay you like he is, like you are. Okay. <laughs> How much money you getting from him? Okay. There you go. The more money he spend, the closer to your dream to the dream girl you are. Um Honest, there's not that. That's just it, baby. <laughs> Ask a broke Dusty. He didn't spend his last twenty dollars on his dream girl. 
and ain't going to ask about it. Uh-oh, lavish sprinkle sprinkle. What was the mask for ugly people called? You need it. Oh, my goodness. Just go look up silicon lifelike realistic masks on online, and I'm definitely sure you'll find it. It might even stimulate other parts of your brain and blow your mind in a whole other direction you never even thought about. But just go look it up. <laughs> uh oh, roll the dice, sprinkle, sprinkle. I've been leveling up in researching venues and wealthy zip codes in your area. You're looking forward to practicing what you've learned here so far. Thank you. Uh oh, roll the dice, sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, good luck. Have fun. <laughs> You said nothing can keep a man loyal. <laughs> How? You said, did you know that men fall in love faster because they're visual creatures? Um, I didn't know that, but hey. That's why you need to be upfront and quick with getting that direct deposit. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They will be loyal if they want to be. You can't make them exactly. Sure, I'm getting into real estate. Your current sugar daddy is paying for it. How can you get a better one as you level up? Um, I don't know, but definitely I will, like, I don't know about that real estate thing. It seems like that's what everybody do. It's like, be creative, girl. Start your own business. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, air, like, that's like the formula. Like, everybody who's, you know, trying to, they're making this like, like generic formula. Get a real estate license, date a rich dude. You know, don't y'all want to, don't y'all get tired of doing the same stuff? Don't y'all want to do something different? Like, don't y'all want y'all kids to be impressed of your career or what type of business you have or can pass on to them or something? Don't y'all want something more? I'm just asking because it seems like everybody do the same formula and it kind of seems like, is that all you want? Is that it? <laughs> People can find their own house online today. Easy. But yes, they need someone to close and all that kind of stuff and have them sign papers and go show them the house and all that kind of stuff. But is that really how you want to spend your days? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm going to need my own business. Unless you have your own real estate company, then go girl. All right. People don't know how to be original anymore. I know they just follow the, I don't know, follow the, the whatever. I, I'm not trying to dish you or anything, but do something else for yourself on the side. That's it. You'll thank me later and yourself. Um, he claims to be in the process of divorcing, but he seems passive. Girl, will claim to be in the process of needing some more of his money. Okay. And I, I said this in another video. Don't ever, ever, ever take a man's word for anything but a word until they have physical evidence and proof and have taken action and you can hold it in your hand why do you believe <laughs> okay i don't care what they say give me my money and when it's done then we'll go out to celebrate and you can buy me something spring spring there you go Okay, I don't care. Do what you gotta do. Don't keep telling me stuff because you think I want to hear it. And if you're asking, when are you gonna divorce her? When are you gonna divorce her? If you don't, if he don't want to divorce her, he ain't. Unless there's a reason to, unless you take matters into your own hands, then I mean, there's nothing much you can do. You said they'd be lying about the divorce proceedings. Of course they do. Like, they're going to be honest with you. 
They're not even honest with their wives. Why would they choose you to be honest to? You're not that special. Why are you hanging on to his promises? I don't know why they're hanging on to promises. I would just be like, you know what? Well, congratulations whenever you get divorced. But, you know, right now, I'm going to need this money. He said, we, we are sleeping in different rooms. LOL. Well, good for y'all. When y'all sleeping in different houses on different taxes, then we could talk sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you would feel disrespected if you were in your situation, he is sleeping with you and his wife. Honestly, I think a lot of people don't care. And a lot of times the men aren't sleeping with their wife. <laughs> That's why they out there. Because after, and I'm going to tell you, after a woman gets married, she ain't got to give it up like that no more. Especially if that ain't her dream man, baby. Y'all got to remember that. Sometimes they really ain't getting none at home. <laughs> That's why they out looking. They might get some every once in a while. But it's probably rare. Okay. <laughs> Shira, you may met a beautiful Romanian business owner in the 40s with nice eyes this week in this expensive area. He talked about how he travels and gave me his club. Okay, red flag. Crooks Sprinkle. First of all, you don't want nobody to travel. <laughs> okay. That means you are not ever going to be taken seriously. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That, that's just what I hear. When I hear I travel, that means exactly that. <laughs> You say he got a hole in every area cold. Okay. You're married and don't have sex and you control all his money. And so if he had a side piece. She'd be doing it for free. Exactly. Chanel is, she's, <laughs> Chanel thinks just like most wives. Chanel like, dude, go, go ahead and get the dirty work. He said, attractive men don't pay. You want Yoda? <laughs> you silly. What if he complains that you're too expensive? When you Then you ask him why he is still with you, and he says he have no choice. Then he tell him, how to, tell him he better figure out how to make more money then. Um, don't look for looks in men. Just look for bank account. Okay. If an old man starts talking about sex super early, does it mean I am not leveled up enough? <laughs> you know, I mean, you look stupid. Um, or he got a, a short life expectancy and he trying to move quick or that he thinks you're dumb. <laughs> then you start talking about money at the same time about bills, about stuff you need done, work around your house, just start talking about that at this exact same time. You know? Like, you know what? I would invite you over to my house, but I need a new thermostat or air conditioning unit. Or I would drive over to your house right now but I need new tires. <laughs> I would drop everything what I'm doing right now, but I have to call my babysitter and she's expensive. <laughs> you know, I'm talking right back dirty to dirty money. <laughs> Mm 
<laughs> you said it's so hard dating a man when I don't think he's attractive. What's wrong with me? It's because you're not dating him for the correct reason. You're not dating him for your level up financially. You're dating him as a man. Okay. You have to look at some stuff differently. Just like, okay, so here's an example. You're dating him as a whole person. You're not dating him for a purpose. Okay. So a lot of women have to block that part out of their mind and say, this dude is only for money. That's it. Nothing more. I'm not supposed to be attracted to him. I'm not supposed to have certain types of feelings for him. I am not supposed to even find him attractive at all because I need to stay focused on this money. Okay. Then there's other men that are attractive and things like that that are for maybe, you know, having fun with and some pleasure or whatever, but you don't take them seriously because you know. They're not used to paying these bills, doing what they need to do, da 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 So you don't really take them seriously. They're just for fun. Okay. Now, these guys with money, you may not consider marrying them or being with them forever, but you should have a goal. Like, after I reach this amount of money, then I'm going to, you know, start pulling back. And if he doesn't give me more, um, then I'm just going to go and start over and find another one. Um, but at least I have my business started and I have, you know, my own thing going out. So you have to have a goal and you can't look at certain men that you're dating as husband material all the time. You just got to look at them for what they, what their purpose is for that time. You said put them in categories like they do us. Exactly. Um, but why do they get weird or offended when you mention money when you're leveled up and they have it? Because they don't see themselves as a man who has to pay. And you remind them <laughs> that they got to pay. And they don't feel like that yet. They don't think that they're there yet, look-wise or age-wise, so they get offended. So therefore, you can't waste your time with those who are still stuck in that they don't know if they got to pay or not stage. You know what I'm saying? You said hold up a mirror. Exactly. And be like, let me remind you. <laughs> Have you forgotten? I know you're sitting here looking at me and maybe I took you back 20 years and when you were young and and uh, tender, but this is the present. <laughs> uh oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, Stacy. You said it's this ugly, it's the uh, rich ugly for me. They pay for everything, exactly. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Thank you, girl. Appreciate you. Stacy be dropping it. Okay, thank you, girl. I appreciate you. Get that money. Sometimes they forget how they look and how old they are. Because they're sitting at a table with you and you're taking them back to their youth. Okay. Sometimes you got to remind them, girl. <sighs> How to react to people who are jealous of your looks. Um, I don't. I'm ex I, you know, a lot of people expect that when they leave their house. So they just ignore it for the most part. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just expect it. And so when they encounter it, they just simply ignore it. Are you ever going to start taking calls again? Yeah, when I start charging for them, sprinkle, sprinkle. No, I'm not. Um, But thank you, BB, sprinkle, sprinkle. The guy you're dating even calls himself ugly. Okay, at least he knows. At least he knows. You said I don't want to talk to y'all. Yeah, there's a lot of sus people that be calling in, cray cray people, you know, and so I prefer to avoid them. <laughs> Not saying y'all are, but some people, you know. No, you say you missed the phone call. Well, that's so nice. Um, you say you like he haters; they feed your ego. Okay. 
the good old days are gone. Oh, well, don't worry. You don't need to talk to me. I can read your comments and, re and reply. You said, is my advice really going to work for four and fives? If a grown trans man can pull a straight man, yes, it will work for four and five. If you know how to put on a wig, makeup, and a waist cincher. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I, I mean, how much... How much do people go through every day to look a certain way? How many people go through all that to look like they look every day? Yes. Some of y'all are paying for four and five, but don't know it until they get home and, and, and take off all of the stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, DD, sprinkle, sprinkle. The Romanian is attractive. Does that mean I should call him? You're 20, he's definitely in. Okay, first of all, you're 20, you can do whatever you want, baby. Just don't get pregnant. Okay? Have your fun. When you're trying to settle down and, and get this money, you would not you would not call this person. They would have to call you. Maybe you can text him your phone number and Tell him when you're back in town, you would love for him to take you out. But do not keep talking to him. Do not give him your free energy and time until he has reservations to a nice restaurant or is back in town and has made a date to take you out. But otherwise, you're wasting time, energy, and yeah, and he's 40. Obviously, he's not making enough money to pay all your bills yet. So what you really are just going to get out of him is food and drink. Maybe a gift if it's your birthday soon. But that's probably all he can afford. So if that's what you want, text him. Do not call him. Text him when you're back in town. Let me know so you can take me out. Make him chase. You don't chase. Okay. If he's cute, I don't care what he look like. If he's cute, he broke. Okay. You know what's cute? Paying all your bills. That's cute. <laughs> Cause he probably does that to every city that he goes to, to many girls. Da 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 da. What are you gonna get out of it? That's my question. Now if you make your little Amazon wish list and text it on to him and say, you know what? When you come back in town, this is the dress I want to wear for you. And, and, and or this is the shoes that I want to wear for you and have him order them and send them to you. Because, um, you know, they can hide your address on Amazon if it's like on a wish list or a gift list. They they just click buy and they will it will send it to you automatically without them never knowing your address. Girl, get you your wish list up and play with them like that over the text and send the links and stuff. And if he buys you stuff, great. If not, don't even waste your time. You're 20. You could pretty much go do what you want. <laughs> mhm. Mm what to say about allowance amount? I want more than he's offering. Um. Then when he whatever he offers, say you know what, every little bit helps. But, you know, it's just not going to be enough for what I really need it for. <laughs> because I'm really trying to, you know, pay my bills, get out of debt, start a business. You don't have to say all of that, but just say, well, every little bit helps, I guess. And just act a little bit standoffish. Do a little bit less, pull back a little bit more. And when he gives you the money... Be like, thank you. I guess I'll figure out how to get the rest. <laughs> there you go. Then he think he's going to go find another sugar daddy and get the rest. <laughs> Roll the dice. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How'd you get a non-applicable man to leave me alone? When you're sitting at a bar without having to get up and move, don't want to look like you're entertaining him to other potentials. 
<laughs> Start like ask for a menu and ask if they have a oh, if you're at a restaurant and you have a menu in your hand. Start saying, hmm, I am so hungry. Are you hungry? I did not eat before I left. What's good here? It's kind of expensive. If you don't offer to buy you something to eat, it, and then say, oh, you know what? I don't know. I think, I'm, I, think I need to go um, to the restroom. I'll be back. And then walk around and go sit somewhere else, girls. Sprunk, sprunk. That's what we used to do back in the day. Get up and walk. Take your drink with you. Excuse me, I need to go to the ladies' room. And walk around and go to somewhere else. He'll get the picture and he won't, he will not come back over if you just basically ditched him. And everyone will see that, that you tried to get away from him, and they'll be like, and hopefully he won't embarrass himself by trying to make his way back over there. I've done that several times when I was younger, yes. Okay, it sounds like you have to move, we'll do things. And if you don't feel like moving and things like that, then just tell them that you're waiting for someone. To arrive and they'll whoever shows up to talk to you that you do like they'll just think it's him okay someone says tell them you're celebrating because you found out you're pregnant with alcohol <laughs> okay Y'all silly. You said just ignore them. Exactly. So, you know, yeah, most men, even after they've married their quote unquote dream woman, are going to often be somebody's DM, somebody's bar, someone's dating website, someone's dating app, still looking for whoever, even if they have their quote unquote dream girl. So, don't ever feel like there's something wrong. Just feel like no man will ever find their dream girl. And just get what you can out of the situation and create your dream life, your ideal situation for however you choose to live. Um, and the funny thing is, that most people will never accept this. They will never accept that they won't find their dream man or their dream woman, and they'll continuously search and look and da-da-da-da-da. But that's the whole point, to keep people searching, looking, procreating, spending money, <laughs> keeping the economy going, da 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 da, -da right? Keeping um, the divorce rate high, uh, the baby mama level high. A lot of people know this. And, you know, back in the old days, if a man were to do all of this, he would be shamed. Like his family would shame him. His mother would shame him. His, you know, uh, if he had a, a career, he could lose his job or they would shame him. But nowadays it's almost looked upon as if it's, you know, the best way to be for men. So play the game and get what you can get out of it. Um, and don't worry about if you're a dream woman to him forever or not. Just be the dream woman enough to get the dream money from him or the dream car from him or the dream tuition money from him or the dream whatever money from him. Just use him long enough, just like he's going to use you long enough until he gets on that dating website, and gets in that bar and starts trying to holler at other quote unquote dream women. But get your dream money out of it first, because 
they are going to do it anyway. Um, and don't feel so bad about it because they all do it, most of them. And being my age, I've witnessed it. Every place I've worked, every guy I've known, even if they're an upstanding citizen or someone that a lot of people look up to, they're, go they're out there doing that right now. They may not consistently do it every day, but they've done it or they will or they have. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't put all your hopes and dreams in one person to be this perfect person because there's no such thing as a perfect man, a perfect woman, or a dream woman, or a dream man. But what there is, is how you benefit and what you learn from certain people and how you create your own life due to that, okay? Like, don't leave empty-handed, baby. Get your money. Don't ever leave a relationship empty headed. Get what you get what you're supposed to have. Okay. Okay. And uh, you say he's a good guy. He has a child. He has a kid. He has a baby mama. But I feel like he should honor her with that after for you. Honestly. You can't make a man do anything he don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? No matter how many years, how many kids, you can't make them do nothing. You can't. So that's why you keep going. If I was that lady, I would already have me a fiance. Okay? <laughs> don't be waiting around on baby daddies. Go get you a fiance. And if that baby daddy really wants you, he come get you and put a ring on it and marry you. Because if not, someone else will. Someone else will marry you. Okay? It might not, he might not look like your baby daddy. He might be a little, you might have to squint when you look at him, but he will put a ring on it. Okay? He might not turn heads in every room. But he'll change your status from single to married, okay? And you will still have your baby daddy and a husband. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Think about that for two seconds. And your baby daddy have to ask your husband permission to come over and visit. And still have to pay you child support. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. Men are the providers. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Boom, insurance man. Yeah, okay. So just remember that. Don't wait around on your baby daddy. Go get you a fiance, a husband, and have, and you will still have a baby daddy and child support and a husband. You ain't got to wait. I don't know why y'all be waiting. <laughs> how do you handle another? How do you handle your man liking other girls' pics on social media or sliding in their DMs and compliments? With compliment. I'll be doing the same thing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Obviously, they got an open relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, you can do it, I can do it. But at least I'm going to get response with some money attached to it. <laughs> okay. At least y'all, at least you can send a cash app and get something back. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. You've never considered dating a married man, but they're always trying to date you. 
And they always will be. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> How do you get a guy to buy you something in return for messing up? Don't talk to him. Don't let him back in your life until he take you where you want to go or buy you what you want him to buy. If he say, what can I do for you to forgive me? Send him that link or whatever you want. Okay. And you know, when you when women do that, when women send you a link or tell you you have to pay because you messed up, men feel devalued after that anyway. Like they already know you don't really want them no more. You've lost faith in them. You don't feel the same way about them. The only way they can get you back is to pay. That means you are now just going to be used strictly for your money. And that we hope you mess up again so we can get the matching earrings. Okay? That's all it's going to mean to them. And if they want you back that bad, they'll do it. <laughs> you said men, women need to pay during a date. Sure they do. If they ugly, I agree. Ugly women pay on dates. That's why I told them to go get that silicone mask so they don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> You're not going to get no cute woman to pay on a date. <laughs> All right. He said Paul is tripping. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I mean, that women will pay on dates, but they're not going to be the type of woman you want to be on a date with. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said the only thing you're going to pay is attention. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. You said, how about the fourth date? You mean the one we ain't going to show up to? Sprinkle, sprinkle. The, you mean the one we're going to leave and go to the bathroom when you even think about mentioning that? Yeah. Why would we pay on the fourth date? Are we trying to impress ourselves on how we can pay for our meal and a man's meal who think he's going to get some. But sadly, is mistaken because he's asking us to pay on a fourth date. No. Why would we do that? That makes no sense. When we could have went, ate out by ourselves and got our whole meal paid for by a stranger who want to date us. I don't know. I don't know. Like What, what kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> okay. You said, get up and go sit down somewhere else. What? How to deal with emotionally immature men. Don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't deal with them. Just get their money. And if they can't deal with that, then be gone. Sprinkle, sparkle. The first date don't count as a date anyways. Okay. They will waste your time, so spend their money. Exactly. They are all emotionally immature. Okay. I would say this. An, I would say an emotionally mature man knows better than to ask any woman to pay, is not insecure, and is willing to allow the woman to feel as if she is safe, protected, and provided for, who um, understands that she ain't got to be there, but she wants to be if she's well taken care of. I don't think that men need to think that women are there for them and to make them feel comfortable and to make sure they feel like a prize and things like that. That's not what women do. You should already feel like that on your own. You should already have that confidence within. That is a very masculine confidence. If you need us women 
to let you feel like you're needed and wanted and, oh, we'll pay for you. Oh, you're special. Oh, let me coddle you. Then we can't see you as masculine and we're not going to be comfortable around you anyway. And the next man who's more masculine than you approaches us, we're going to be going like, okay. You know what I'm saying? So don't feminize yourself in front of us. It's a turnoff. Don't ask, oh, what about if you can pay on the fourth date? Because all we got to do is go on the first date that we don't have to pay for with another man who probably makes more money than you or looks better than you or more masculine than you or has more hair than you or something, has a nicer car than you. So don't ask a woman to pay on the fourth date. You're just setting yourself up for failure every time and making yourself look feminine as a man. You might as well tell them that your pee-pee is this small. If you're going to ask her to pay on the fourth day, you might as well just say, you know what? I got something to convince. I ain't packing. She'd probably rather you say that than ask her to pay. Okay. I'm just telling y'all, ask any woman. They, they don't really want to pay. They don't. And don't ask her to. If you do, you mess it up big time. You're becoming a woman. You might as well just be gender neutral after that. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Moving forward. If you ask a woman to pay, you are now gender neutral. There you go. Okay? You can change your pronoun. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hi, Shira. Can I forgive myself for staying with an abusive man for so long? Um, I don't think it's about forgiving yourself. I think it's about if you're with them still or not. Do you want to be there? Like, there's nothing to forgive. You, you did it. It's done. We talked about forgiveness on one of my videos. It's just some words that people tell themselves, but they never stop feeling the way that they feel. Either you move on or you just don't think about it. Mm-hmm. You asked me to pay. I think you're pretty sad and obviously you want to be girlfriends. Exactly. Can I ask how much women weigh on the first date? You can ask whatever you want. Don't mean you're going to get an answer. <laughs> can they ask how much you make as a salary and see your bank statement? Can they ask to see your bank statement on the first date, sir? If, if they can, then of course, ask away. I'd be like, you know what? what is, let me see your bank statement. I'll give you my numbers if you give me yours. Can you just see how much she weighs? Can't you just see how much she weighs? Exactly. Like, you know, if you can't. If you can't eyeball it, then why do you need the numbers? Because we can lie. <laughs> oh, he needs our attention because he cannot afford real life attention at all. You wouldn't just say enough. <laughs> exactly. The women weighs as much as the ladies in your family. Uh-oh. Should I expect a man to give me money, gifts on the first or second date? Um, depending how much they like you, they're going to try to spend as much money on you as possible to impress you. So they'll usually ask you, what do you want to go? What do you want to do? Do you need anything? Just let me know. You know, if you have to pull that stuff out of them by mentioning it in like regular conversation, then if they offer to give you money or pay they'll probably bring it on the first or second date. If you look good and they look bad and they want to have date two, they're going to offer you whatever you need. Or if you need something, let me know. I can go to the ATM. It's, if you're dating someone who doesn't feel like they need to pay or help you out, or you know, da, 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 they're probably not going to mention it. So you're going to have to aim for the correct target. <laughs> you should never have to ask a man you are dating for anything. He should be anticipating your needs after a few dates. Okay. 
That's true. That's so true. Like if you're playing, if you're, if you're a man, now let me, let me tell y'all guys something. If you're a man and you're trying to play the game from the same perspective as a woman, then you're playing from your feminine. You're not playing from the masculine angle and women can pick up on that. And it's a total turnoff. You know what I'm saying? Um, asking her to pay for something, asking her questions about her career and job. It just means that you have financial issues. <laughs> okay. So don't ask a woman about anything like that. She can volunteer the information and things like that. If, But don't ask her. Mm-hmm. What time is it there? I don't even know. I don't look at the time anymore. I just go. <laughs> Why would you pay for you and men are always coming to you? Exactly. You okay. So. And why would, okay, here's my, here's my thing. Why would a woman pay on the fourth date when if y'all ever do get in a relationship, you gonna end up cheating and paying for some woman on y'all's first date anyway, some at some point. And I'm gonna need my I'm not wasting my money on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Could you imagine finding out some dude that you were dating and paid for is out there cheating on you and paying for someone else while you paid for the fourth date? Ugh, disgusting. That's why you never pay because you already know that's what they're gonna do. So don't waste your money. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all, just wake up. I know Pick Misha might pay on the fourth date. I know Pick Misha or Barbara the Builder may go half. But imagine how dumb and stupid they'll be feeling when he's out paying for another woman the whole bill. The entire bill. <laughs> imagine how Pick Misha and Barbara feel. Mm -mm. Don't ever pay. He said you gain weight. Are these demeaning insults forgivable? I don't want to forgive his particular insult as unemotional as I am. Honestly, if, if you've gained weight, it's because you're not motivated enough by him to look good for him anymore. <laughs> okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Like, you don't, why do I got to look good for you? I mean, that's the truth. Like, okay. A woman is going to look as good as she looks if she feels like she's looking good for her man. Is he acknowledging her every day? When she was starving herself and being skinny, was he telling her she looked good? Taking her out, doing stuff? No, if not, so why would it matter? Men need to also realize a lot of times you have a lot to do with your woman's weight gain. If you ain't showing me off, you ain't spending money, then I don't need, then I'm finna go eat, baby. Spring, spring. Okay, I'll, I'll go on a diet when you start spending again. How you doing? Thank you. I agree. The audacity he tried to have sex with me also. Of course they do. You fat. Oh, let me get some. <laughs> let me get some money, too. So you won't pay me. You're fat or skinny. Sprunk, sprunk. Um. Okay, your ex used to spend three hundred dollars every time we went to dinner, and that was a cheap date. Okay, you're leveled up, and you feel less men appreciate you. I look expensive, and Dominican men are broke, but the ones who have money date blondes or women with BBLs. What should I do, girl? They sell fake booties you could put on, and they sell blonde wigs. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They sell it on Amazon. <laughs> okay. They even had a fake booties that was made out of silicone now that you put inside these little pockets and these like shorts that hold pocket booties. I don't even know what they call it anymore. <laughs> you say Amazon got everything you need to level up. Yes, I do. Go ahead and get your antibody on. 
with your blonde wig and your ant body. And when you get home to take it all off and breathe and relax and sleep on your back without an arc. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> there you go. If you're not taking you out to hibachi dinners, you don't, you're not getting all this on and the stuff. Okay. How I live in the doctor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Y'all are silly. Your wife cooks food and makes you chubby. I blame my wife for the weight gain. <laughs> well, it don't matter if you fat. As long as you're paying bills. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you respond to a man profiling you on dates? I don't know what profiling means. Like asking you a bunch of questions. Like what does that mean? Like asking you a bunch of questions? Ask them how much the position pays and did you get the job and what, what time should you report to work? Because this felt like a job interview that I did not know I was on. Ask them if you get benefits in a dental package, okay? Why won't he ever find his dream woman? Because she don't exist. And if she he does find a woman he claims is his dream woman, he ain't her dream man. <laughs> and it won't stay that way for long, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle, that's why. Um, What if a guy tells you he's always tell you he broke? Then why are you still talking to him? If he got to tell you more than once, something wrong with you, lady. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You tell If you tell me you broke, I don't ever have to talk to you ever again no more in life. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm broke. Oh, good luck. You broke. Good luck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He wants to you to be with him regardless of what. So do you ghost him if he's broke? You wouldn't have to ghost anyone who's broke. You just. <sighs> I don't know how to explain this to people. Um, If he tells you he's broke, he just broke up with you. You understand? That's how I meant gets rid of a woman. That's a nice way of breaking up with you. You don't realize this? If a man tell you I'm broke, it means I you're not worth me paying for. You're not worth me getting more money for. You're not worth me getting a second job for. You're not worth me getting a credit card for. You're not worth anything. If we, we going to be together, you going to be paying for me. That's what I'm broke means coming from a man. Okay. So he's breaking up with you. Just be gone. <laughs> That's what it means. If a man has the audacity to tell you he's broke and shame himself. It's so you can say, oh, baby, I'll pay. Or don't worry, I got it. Or. Oh, okay. Well, good luck. He's leaving you or you're going to be paying for him. Either way. Either way, he ain't paying. So you're not ghosting him. He's breaking up with you. <laughs> okay. That's it. He's letting you go. He's like saying, look, I'm broke. There's nothing I can do for you. Be free. That's what he's saying. Okay. You said that you that's the man's version of I'm pregnant? Exactly. <laughs> you said he's just not that into you. If you broke, you broke, baby. If you have the audacity to tell a woman you broke, if you are shame, shame, if you're gonna shame yourself to tell a woman you broke, you maybe you spare her feelings. But at the same time, if you broke, that's a breakup. <laughs> you said that's like saying he gay. 
Yeah, he, he, he figures, let me think of the worst thing I could tell a woman. Because if he says he's gay, that might get around. If he say, you know, something else, that might get out. So he got to say he broke. <laughs> okay, Nurse Fancy Sprinkle Sprinkle, you know how the piano player got up on the color purple when Sophia knocked that girl out? That's what you do. Get up and leave. <laughs> Oh, time to go. Mm hmm. By the way, that was Lauren Fishburne later on, Morpheus and the Matrix. He knew. He knew she wouldn't have won. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. No, which one was? Am I confused? I don't know, but he was in that movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> y'all would throw up if I told you that some of my friends do for guys that they are dating beautiful girls to bringing him baked chicken to guys house on third floor what? If I was a man, I wouldn't even trust that big chicken at these days, okay? I'm like, mm, mm, don't trust it. I don't even know how men trust women cooking these days. I don't even know how, because I would. It's like, what you put in? You said, what if you say he's going into early retirement and we have to size down or downsize? Then tell him he might as well downsize his taste in women because you down. <laughs> okay, down, I'll, you downsize everything you need to, including your taste in women. Because I'm not, I'm not going to downsize another. You better find another way. <laughs> He said, downsize me. He losing me. Did you make any investments? Do you have anything? What have you What have you been doing with all your money? How are you going to retire early and downsize? You're supposed to be retiring with, with extra. What you doing? You didn't do something right? <laughs> mm -hmm. He said, women need to be with the man, not his money. Well, then a man needs to be with his money and not a woman. Until he gets some money, he can't get no woman. Duh. Y'all don't know how this works. Where y'all gonna live? <laughs> okay. When she's nine months pregnant, you gonna be looking at her, asking her to pay the rent? Or half the bills? When she in labor? Oh, sorry. Sorry, baby. You got, you, you got your hair? What you gonna be doing? No, sir. No, no. Once you had a desk, he asked you to meet you at a thrift store at the last minute instead of planning a date night. He got donated in blocks. <laughs> Women can be a man's muse, exactly. He said if a rich man who is well known and is considering me as an option and not spending money. What do what to do? Should I continue for a while? He is very popular. Um, I'm very popular, and I spend money on my kids, on myself, on my pets. So if I can do that, and he can't do that for me, then we got a problem. That's all I can tell you. Okay. If you spend more money on a dog, a pet, a rat, a cat, and you can't spend money on a woman, then you don't need a woman. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. Write down what you want as if it's already right. Exactly. Who said these dusties have no shame at all? <laughs> How do I manifest a wealthy man more fast? Is it just level up? Level? Um, stop accepting trash. Don't go where men who 
want you to pay on the fourth date, go. Don't hang around broke places where broke men hang out. Don't entertain anyone who's not spending money on you um, because that's what your standards are going to become. So have higher standards. Don't waste your time. Just keep it moving. The great goddess of greed, okay. You don't think and behave like you are less than a wealthy man. Change how you think about yourself. Like That's exactly right. You know, I've noticed that a lot of men who feel like they're all that will expect a woman to treat them the same way that they're interested in. And... To me, if, if you're interested in a certain woman, then she shouldn't have to treat you as if you are, quote unquote, all that. You should already know if you got her attention and you think she's all that. That should just be a given. That should just be your security. You know, you don't you don't need to be told if you, if you if you like her and you're all that. Then obviously. She knows that you're all that because you like her. And she's confident because you like her. And that's it. That's all that, that's all that should be known. <laughs> Time to Uber part-time, a.k.a. go freestyle for a new one. <laughs> Y'all are so silly. You had, you're surrounded by pygmishas who think your standards are too high for expecting men to pay on every day. Well, tell her, I'm, I would just tell them pygmishas just because you can't do it don't mean I can't. <laughs> Sorry, y'all had to live like that, but not everybody do. Or not everybody will. Okay. If my standards are too high, then I'm sorry for them who can't reach it. <laughs> That's it, baby. I'm, I'm not finna lower my standards for no dude, so I'll be dating a dusty. Like you lower them standards, what you gonna be dating? Dusties? They want you to be dating dusties like them. That's all. You lower your standings any lower, you're going to be dating, sitting at the bus stop with them. Shoot, what the heck? <laughs> what to do if he wants my bank card to deposit monies when I give it? Now I don't want what's going on now. He hasn't texted all day. Girl, you open a, a regular old bank account or you give him a debit card or you just give him your cash app. And you don't have nothing in it, right? <laughs> you open up an account for only deposits. And when he put that in there, the only thing he's going to be able to take back out is what he already put in. You know what I'm saying? And I would never give no man my card. That sounds stupid. Like, that's dumb. Like, that's a, if you don't know what a scam is, go look it up in the dictionary. Okay? Because y'all could have easily went to the ATM. And he could have deposited cash in your account just like that. Okay. Don't be that dumb no more, baby. Don't be that dumb no more. Ever, 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 ever. If somebody asks you for your credit card, make sure they have a name tag on and they're behind a the cash register and you actually buying stuff. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or they asking you, would you like anything else to go? Would you like some to-go boxes? Okay, you don't get nobody in your credit card. <laughs> okay. You said, girl, give him your credit card that needs a payment. Exactly. There are a few rich men who don't pay, but then I stop talking to them. They call every day, text too, but never mention the things I asked him earlier. Why does he call and what to do? You need to tell him straight up. I, some, I don't date or entertain men who are not, who don't listen to me and who, who don't know and understand what it takes to be with someone like me. 
Uh, if you're going to, if we're going to date exclusively, if you're taking me off the market, if you want me to only be exclusive to you, then I'm going to need you to take care of me and provide. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not really ready for that form of commitment if you're not ready to provide. And just be done. And he'll stop calling and be done. You know, it's just some men think just because they have money and um, this or that, they can date without spending. That's just not true. That's just not true. If a broke man or a man who works a nine to five got to spend the date, so do you. And preferably more. <laughs> okay. You say he's being deaf to your needs, be deaf to them. Exactly. Send him a cash app when he asks why you ain't giving him the time of day. Send me your cash app a, a link. <laughs> Tell him time is money. That's why I buy. <laughs> <laughs> never give up there's always a man out, out there waiting to take care of you exactly he'd be gone time is money exactly but they, why why do why do some men think just because they uh, are this and that that they don't have to pay I don't know who told them that but they were wrong Okay. You said my friend recommended me to your channel and told me she got married to a man of means at 19. You're worried she's too young. Girl, they got divorced. Sprinkle, sprinkle. She might have, you know what? She might be working on her own business. She might be building her empire. <laughs> if she feels like she don't want to be there no more, she can get divorced. Just like that. Mm-hmm. And hopefully she's doing something wise with her, with her money that she's getting from that man. And she can get his house and have his money, too. So I mean, She's doing better than a lot of 19-year-olds out there. She might have been too young, but at least she married for money. There's a lot of young women out here married for love and broke. Okay. So just be thankful for that. You can't stop people doing from what they want to do. As long as they ain't broke doing it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Even men dating gurus say then to earn more. Spin plates. Date younger girl. Okay. Well, men, men can date younger women because younger women cost less to date. And I'm saying that because especially younger women who don't realize how much money really is, you know, because they don't have the expenses of, let's say, a 35 or 40 year old woman. They don't have those expenses yet. So dating a 20 year old or 25 year old is super cheap compared to dating someone who's 35. So if if a man has less money and he dates younger he can definitely, you know, afford to take her out, maybe buy her some stuff, take her on a trip and stuff like that, because she's not going to be as experienced or want more um, than someone who knows, you know, about other things. Mm -hmm. But that's OK. And if that's what makes them happy and the girl, the 20 something year old girl is getting her money in her bag and starting her business. And the man is getting what he wants to be feeling younger and like he's the man or whatever, then everybody wins. Okay, because that's how I got to where I am. She was sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. <laughs> I can't knock them if I was them. He said young submissive women not cost, but those young women grow up. That's what this whole video is about. Your dream woman go, can become your worst nightmare in, in five years. <laughs> okay. That 25-year-old going to grow into a 35-year-old soon. 10 years. Okay. They will. They will grow into one, I promise you, and they're going to have all the experience that goes with it. So, yeah, you can date you a young submissive, but as soon as they hit 35, got their little money going, 
then use your money from, you know, you slobbering all over them, trying to get throw money out because you want to sleep with them. And they saved up and got their little business and stuff like that. They're going to be a totally different woman to deal with. <laughs> so, yes, you you might have found your dream home, but you ain't going to keep it. <laughs> you said you found your dream woman, but she turned out to be a married lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you found her. And what you gonna do? Sprinkle, sprinkle. If she's learned from Shira, hubby will be broke before he can trade her in. If your husband can go broke, then you married the wrong one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You better be figuring out how to get more. He gonna be broke for the, during the divorce. We start off as a good deal then cost goes up like the economy exactly and if you if you go broke how you gonna trade her in for another one that don't make no sense they she gonna be a downgrade then <laughs> the other one gonna take half all right jade sprinkle sprinkle you caught yourself simping for your neighbor he has long distance girlfriend but he helps me with bob the builder tasks and asked me to babysit in exchange, but he pays me. Okay. I mean, if you need the money, I understand. But I could never. I don't know how old you are, but I could never. I'll be too busy. I'm not watching nobody's kids. Unless I'm desperate for money. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm sorry. I owe Jade Sprinkle Sprinkle. Unless I got kids and they friends and stuff. And they going to come over anyway. I mean, I don't. I need to know the whole situation. I'm not getting ready to babysit someone's kids I don't know. Even if they're paying me. I'm going to double the, double the cost. And actually, I wouldn't be doing that. Because, you know, people these days is crazy. Oh, I left my kids with you when they came back. Doing this, this, and that. Or, no, I don't trust people enough. Sorry. You don't have to put them. We gonna, I'm going to have to have some kids if your kids come out. Okay. okay. So, like, you know, I don't know. I'm sorry. You said, Jay, go up for them looks. No, I, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm too old. <laughs> All right. Money comes and goes, but you can't financially plan. Save and invest. That shows the men in the comments are not really competent. No, nor smart or confidence. They don't think long term. Exactly. That's why we don't worry about them. <laughs> um, what make what if he makes money but the illegal way? Then he could legally lose all his money, the legal way. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not like, to me, what the heck? It's just not for me. You know, I, I, I could be like, you know what? That seems strange. I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> You say use them for gas money. Oh my goodness. Men get a passport if you marry a woman from our community. She divorced you because she's bored. Yeah, get you a passport. Get you a plane ticket. Make sure you call your probation officer. Tell them you heading out of town because you can't afford the woman in your own country. And make sure when you go out of town, you get that exchange of currency. So you look like you have money when you really don't. <laughs> and you go live your best life out of the country. 
and ball. And then when you get back back to them states and get in your Uber or go deliver your DoorDash, you will have all those great memories. You will have whoever's phone number or Instagram account that you can text and talk to at night when you lonely in bed. And, you know, all will be well with the world. <laughs> okay. But y'all have fun, you know. As long as long as you're happy with the end, that's all that matters, sir. If you can help another woman get their citizenship to come to America to find what America really is, and after two years leave your butt and go on get a richer man, then do it. Bring them. We need them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You just gonna be bringing some rich man a new woman. With citizenship. <laughs> All right. As y'all know, my, my videos reached to Brazil. To all parts of the world, baby. Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, <laughs> Japan, China, Russia, the UK, Spain, South America, Central America, Canada, the islands, all of There you go. As long as you get them passports and them green cards, you might, you might, you might just be getting lucky, sir. <laughs> but when she started disappearing after six months and saying she got a work plate, because you know you're going to make her get a job. But if she looks that good, you know she's going to have a work husband and start sleeping with the boss. Or meeting someone on her lunch break. If she looks that good and married to a Dusty. It ain't going to work out anyway. She's just going to leave you with her green card in hand. And be on to the next. So. Please bring more women. Who are cute to the states. You know, More gold digging sisters. For us to mold. You said this is so true. Jay Books, he said, this is so true. I know someone who did this in real life. I know. That's what they do. That's the plan. Most guys stupid and they go, well, go get them a woman, pay for them to get their green card. Then when they get to the States, have them living in this crappy apartment and, and force them to go find a job. And when they, then they find a man instead, they go be bad. Okay. Yes, go, go bring them over here so we can train them. And get them out there. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But she know the green card game, okay? You said, Acne, come to South America. You will love it. Sunny, all read around, read around and delicious and super cheap food, okay? Yeah, you can even take them out to eat and pay for it there. Sparkle, sparkle. And, and, and buy drinks and maybe a gift. Why not splurge, baby? He <laughs> said, Western culture America will never run out of modern feminists and third world countries will never run out of pick niches. Yeah, but when they get their green card and come over here, they're going to transition into American women. <laughs> okay. They're gonna be like, wait a minute, she uglier than me, and her man paying for everything, and she don't have to go nowhere. Wait a minute, something is off here. This ain't right. You know, I got my green card now, I'm out. <laughs> okay. You said you were a living testimony, PJ. Okay, exactly. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> When your girl start looking around and seeing uglier women getting paid, 
from men and not having to clock in nowhere and living better than her, she's out. So y'all better live in the country somewhere far away and not have no internet. <laughs> you want to keep her, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I know men have this fantasy in their mind. That's why we have to clear it up for them. That's why this they'll never have their dream woman. Even if they go get a passport to go fly and find one and bring her back, they ain't going to keep them. <laughs> okay. But at least they will help her with her dream and to become her dream woman and live her dream life. So thank you, Dusties. You know, if you go get them. If you change their life for the better, at least you did something good in your life. You can write that down. Hi, old Kamikaze Sprinkle Sprinkle. Keep up the good work, baby doll. There's for to you. Oh, ain't nobody called me baby doll in a long time. Shoot. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Chucky. <laughs> I'm one of them Annabelle dolls, baby. You don't want that. Um. She says you're an American credit card. <laughs> so, yes, make sure, you know, the delusion, the Dusty's always tell us we have delusions, right? But they're del they don't even think out their delusions. At least we think ours out and it makes sense. And it's actually able to be done. Their delusions are, they just think about one week in advance. <laughs> they're like, ooh. Get you a passport and go date women out of your league because American money is worth more there. Okay, but what happens when you have to come back here and do your Uber job or deliver your pizza? Like, what? She's just going to be dreaming about it, saving up your tips to go back? <laughs> what are you, what do you do, baby? You a rich American? Oh, I deliver pizza. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, get whatever you want on menu. I'm a piece of delivery man. I got tips. How much do you make a day, daddy? Or how much do you make a day, poppy? On a good day, I might make about $50 in tips. Oh, trans... What is that in our currency? That $400. <laughs> What do you have, girlfriend? Are you married? No. <laughs> well, why not? Well, the women in my country are gold diggers and they're cheap and they don't want to pay for anything and, and I can't afford them. I don't know what you're saying, but I want another drink. <laughs> and see. Oh, you work for Uber? Oh, that's a big company in the United States. <laughs> Do you have car? What year? 1999? Oh, like the print song. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, y'all know I go all day. I'm crazy. <sighs> you have big Jeep. <laughs> Will you teach me how to drive? I want to come to America. Yes, I cook for you every day. You like rice con pollo? Okay. I make that very well. Anyway. The 
as soon as they get that green card, they out, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle them. <laughs> you said, I cook and clean and love you alone. They, gonna, they be laying it on thicker than us, child. <laughs> but as long as they get here, that's the goal. You see, our goals are different. We we want money. They want green card. And once they get green card, then they want money. Okay? It's just, we skip it. We don't, have, we don't have to go through that green card stage. So we just go straight to the money. Okay? You said, how do I not worry about being widowed early when the guy is much older? Insurance. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> what do you do if your neighbor's husband likes you and sh the wife knows about it and hit on you every chance he gets? Sometimes he even get caught and the wife hates you because of it and creates tension. Well, get him to start paying some of them bills, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I mean, if, if she's going to hate you and he's going to come on to you every day, he might as well come on with some bill money. <laughs> okay. Put cash app sign in the yard. <laughs> you said how to learn about the logistics of marriage, like insurance, policy, wills, etc. Ask him about it every day until he can show you the papers. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now, I'm very simple. Like... Yes, that's, that's the easiest way. Ask him every day till he can show you the paper. That's it. Pretty much. <laughs> mm hmm Scare him off with a snip of the rent do what? You said the husband is triangling because he's weak. <laughs> That's true. And subconsciously creating a triangle is subconsciously trying to create one of the strongest structures there are, which is a triangle. So to compensate for his weakness, he tries to create the strongest structure there is, which is a triangle. Interesting. That's me, my nerdness, nerdiness. <laughs> Delusions is a hell of a drug. <laughs> sure, is it fair to leave a guy if he doesn't benefit me within 10 days or is it impatient? <sighs> 10 days. He had 10 days and he ain't brought you nothing. Um, if he's not benefiting you or able to benefit you in any way, if you're not gaining anything from the situation, men are supposed to enter your life to make it better. So if your life is not getting any better and he's been there for 10 days, almost two weeks, then when is it going to start getting better? <laughs> Just let me ask you that. Okay. Yes, grow old alone. Yes, with all your kids, nieces, nephews, cousins. Grow old alone. Like most matriarchs. Men are dumb and delusional, literally. <laughs> Women don't grow old alone. They have kids. They have families. They have grandchildren that always over their house. Men grow old alone because nobody wants to go over their little cheap apartment or their garage apartment, their bachelor pad that they barely can afford. Nobody wants to visit that. 
<laughs> okay. And usually they try to either move in with some woman or try to move some woman in. So I don't know. It's just, yeah. Women seldom live or, or get all of the alone. They often have friends, family, grandchildren, a little boyfriend from bingo parlor. Who know? One of the Dinkins from the church. They got something, child, I believe. You hit the like button, no kind of sparkle sparkle. You said they move in with female friends who are also alone. Then how you gonna be alone living with another woman as friends? That's a roommate. You know the same thing when you move in with a grown man and he asks you to pay half the bills? It's a roommate. <laughs> All right. He you said you're not funding nothing for a modern woman until you broke her peach in first. Well, and she... Depending on what you're working with, that it might not be much of a sacrifice, baby. Sprint sprinkle. <laughs> she can lay back and be like, go on, go on, get it, because I ain't gonna feel it anyway. Just pay these bills, sir. <sighs> Let me know when you're done, because uh, I don't really feel too much. Did you pay any bills though? All right then. Get it in and hurry up. Your two minutes is almost up. Bye, sir. And I go, here go the stack of bills. Bye. <laughs> Be on your phone scrolling at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know. He said he built the table, provided food, too much to ask that she cook it. If she cook it terrible, then what? You gonna ask her to cook it again? Because I be teaching y'all to burn it, put too much salt in it, make sure it's half raw. And you will never have to cook again. Sure, bro. We'll cook. <laughs> and when we want to, not because we have to. Don't you if you ever tell a woman, if I do this and that, you at least need to cook. Be prepared to be eating some stuff you don't want to be eating. Okay. If a woman cooks out of the kindness of her heart then that's the meal you want to eat, okay? But if you demand somebody cook something, oh, you're going to be eating something, all right, but you ain't going to know what it is. <laughs> okay, so I, I wish somebody would. Y'all better be careful how y'all talk to these modern women. You think the old days? And we will make up our own recipe. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Don't ever demand a woman to cook. Believe me. You don't ever want If you're a man, don't do that. You can probably persuade her. Politely manipulate her, but do not ever tell a woman she need to cook. Okay, you should be like, "Oh, this meal looks so good. Look at this recipe I found. I think I'm gonna try to make it." You then go in the kitchen and try to make it and mess it up and let her come in there and take it over and say, "Boy, you don't know what you're doing." 
And then maybe she'll be nice and cook something for you. But if you ever tell a woman, you better cook for me, A, B, C, and D, you're you going to regret it. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> okay. For real. Tell him you a wobby. <laughs> See, y'all being too nice. I'm talking like, never mind. <laughs> Some of y'all understand what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> the toilet emoji is silly. Yep. So there's a nicer way to ask a woman to cook. Or there's a nicer way for you to manipulate a woman into cooking. And if she just don't want to cook, then accept that and cook your own meal or y'all order out. Okay? You said young men make you work so hard you be trying to close out shop, pass out and throw in the town because you become a spinster. What? <laughs> Mm hmm She probably shouldn't cook. <laughs> you don't even cook for your brother, bye. Exactly. Come on now. He said she said give him Hell's Kitchen. Western women are accepting it, thus MGTO. I don't care. Like, y'all men feel like Western women, Eastern women. You know what? Women. Western women are no longer oppressed. Okay. So what you're really saying is oppressed women. So change that vocabulary. Oppressed women that don't have the same equal rights. Why don't you say that? Because that's what you're really saying. <laughs> Go get you an oppressed woman with less rights. She'll do what you say. If that's the case, she really don't want to do what you say. She just don't have a choice. Or she was raised thinking she didn't have a choice. She don't really want to do that for you, period. And once you bring her over here and she get her rights, she ain't going to do that crap no more for long anyway. <laughs> I know I wouldn't. I would never do it in the first place, but that's just who I am. I mean, if I do it, it's out of the kindness of my heart, not because I'm supposed to and I'm Eastern or Western, if I'm oppressed or not, you know. That's the same thing as saying to a person of color um, uh, back 40, 50 years ago that they'll take some kind of crap job because they don't have equal rights for equal pay. Go get go get somebody that don't have a, a green card to uh, do this job because they don't want as much money. That's the same thing you're saying. So you're going to give her less and expect more out of her because she ain't got equal rights or the sense enough to know that she got equal rights in this country. I don't think so. That's why I get my money and I don't bother listening to none of that crap. And MGTOW, whatever you want to call them people, is stupid. And that's why they still where they at. Nope. Wrong as well. Um <laughs> Chase behind a woman who will never look at them as no dream man. Can't afford to keep no woman, let alone provide for one. All they're doing is pointing out all of their weaknesses to let women know they can't afford them. Period. That's all that's all it is to me. <laughs> men going to other men, tooting your booty up. In, uh -uh. I don't bother with them. That's too feminine for me. Those men are extra feminine and they don't know how to treat a real woman anyway. All they know how to do is complain, cry, and uh, check their bank account every time they go buy gas. Okay, I'm not worried about them. Those ain't on the target list. They never will, never never was. And if they on yours, I'm sorry for you. Wake up, baby. You ain't got to you ain't got to deal with that. <laughs> okay. You said oppressed women can oppressed women can modern women even describe example of social oppression entitled narrative gone wrong. 
Um, yeah, all them words. If you gonna if you're gonna say all of that to me, at least pay the bill. If you want me to listen to that BS, at least be paying a tab, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'll listen and nod my head. I will not agree. As long as you're paying, then I'm staying. Okay, there you go. Okay, talk, 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 and say whatever you want. It is a free country, freedom of speech. But when them bills come, pay them. There you go. <laughs> talk to you blue in the face when them bills come, pay them. Okay, I'm not listening anyway. <laughs> Write a book, sell it, and get paid so you can pay these bills. Okay. If you gonna talk trash, write trash and get paid, writing it and, and bring my money. Okay, do what you gotta do. I don't care. Y'all know that's what they doing. Go right around and spend it on a woman. Okay. I have two Patreons. You have to you have to join the other one for uh my other Patreon. Go to my other channel and it's in the description bar on my videos. Mm -hmm. I have two Patreons, y'all know. Bye J Boops and Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you for um being here, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Anyway, I, like, and I don't mind, like, I the men don't bother me because I know they're going to turn right around and spend some money on some woman. <laughs> anyway, depending how much it is, is up to the woman. I know they're going to go around and tell some woman exactly what she he want to hear so they can have a chance of getting some or whatever. So it doesn't bother me. All I know is you just get your money and worry about yourself. Until you can afford the type of woman you want. That's it. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, y'all are so crazy. Nothing annoys you more than a broke man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know it's like as soon as you hear that they got financial problems, everything else becomes blah 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 blah. Like you don't hear nothing else after they say that. It's like blah, 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 blah. you don't care all the good deeds they done did. You don't care what they trying to do. You don't care nothing. All you hear after I don't have no money, I'm broke, or I can't pay for this is blah 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 because your brain turns off and your ears stop functioning and your eyes get wide and you start perusing the room for somebody with some money. Okay, because <laughs> okay, you said no, Dusty. Mm -hmm. A grown man with a teenager's job is not sexy, <laughs> or a teenager's wardrobe. Okay. If you're a grown man, if you're over the age of 35 and you still wearing basketball shorts, t-shirts, and sneakers to everywhere you go, jeans with your drawers hanging out of them, you're dressing just like a junior high school student, not a grown man. <clears throat> okay. So why, so what who wants a man unless he got some money you probably don't have is my favorite. If you're over 30 and you still wear a name tag and you have some work to do. <laughs> okay, y'all are so silly. You don't have a man, you have a payee. Okay, sure. Adrian 
some old men are attractive, but that's not the point. Dang, I'm hungry. I should have brought me a snack up here. Yes, that's my biggest pet peeve. Nike slides and socks. Anyway, y'all understand. Well, I hope this was a good video for y'all. Y'all hit the like button. Thank you for everybody who donated. I know a lot of y'all donated today, so I'm so happy. Thank you. If y'all want to donate through the Cash App, because you don't know how to donate here, I'll put that there because y'all know I don't miss no opportunities. There you go. I'm out. I'm not gonna answer that question. Y'all, y'all can figure that out. Thank you. Have a great night. He said, "Is it true that men want to settle down when it stops working down there? That would be wise, because the wife ain't gonna give it up that much anyway. <laughs> It'd be more peaceful." Okay, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Sprinkle, sprinkle, bye.